Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Uniquely Tay. In today's video, I'll be showing you all how to make a faux latte cup. I think I'm the first one to do it on my YouTube channel. I've never seen anybody else do it before. This is something that I have been wanting to share for a while. Um, if anyone has not seen my last and recent upload on YouTube, I've been busy this November and this December with a lot of stuff going on in my life. Just want to do a quick sit down. You all have not seen me like that. Um, hold on for a second. Somebody's at my door. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to get my daughter to answer the door. It was my grandma. But like I was saying a while ago, um, pretty much I've been real busy for the month of November and December. I've been having a lot going on. I've been trying my best to get out as many winter and Christmas videos as possible. Um, I've really been um, just focusing on trying to not only help myself, but also help some of my church family. A lot of them needed me a little bit more. So I took some of my time away from YouTube so I could be a blessing to someone else. And I truly thank God for all that he's done. Check that video out so you can see some of the things that I've done through November and part or mostly of December also. Um, I did a few events. I helped out one of my sisters in Christ. I'm going to make sure I drop that particular video in my description box. Maybe I'll put it um, in the comments and pin it so you all could go and check it out. So you can kind of get an overview where I've been, what's been holding my attention, why I haven't been posting as many Christmas videos as I would normally do or winter videos as I would normally do. Um, first and foremost, God and my family, like I always tell everyone, is number one. So, um, I'm going to always make sure those areas are always first and always handled first. And then YouTube and all that other stuff comes after that. But I have the cutest DIY for you all. It's a faux latte mug. Um, I really do think I'm the first person to be doing this. I really do. I've never seen it. Anyone make a fake one. I've seen many people on YouTube make real ones, but not a fake one. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this video right now because I really do feel like I'm the only person that has done it. I really do. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did it and the steps you can take. Um, I went on YouTube and I Googled different types of... Um, pictures and images of lattes, different types of... Of ones that you can make so i'll be showing you all of that on today and like i always say if you're new here i am tay of uniquely tay i do diys home decor videos shopping videos tablescapes fake baits and much more if you like videos like these you are in the right place to be so we're going to go ahead on the hop into this quick and easy faux latte diy all right, everyone, y'all may hear like some background noise. My kids are home for Christmas break, so I'm going to record a video. All of you know, I don't do a whole lot of editing. So a lot of times, a lot of things I just leave right on in. They are home, so you may hear noise. You may hear talking. That is, that's my children. So pretty much what you're going to need, you're going to need um, some cardboard. Some cardboard. Let me say that right. Some cardboard. You're going to need that. <laughs> that came out wrong. Um, this right here is from a gift packaging that I had from um, one of my kids' toys. I saved all cardboard boxes, packaging, all of that. Um, you're going to also need a glass of your choice. This is from my local Dollar Tree. I'm going to also show you the paints you're going to need. Um, this video will be using the Miltic Chocolate by Apple Barrel. Um, we'll also be using Chestnut by Apple Barrel. Um, we may be using some of that light mocha. And I know for a fat, we're going to be using Snow White. And it's all Apple Barrel products. Um, pretty much what you're going to do, take your cardboard, take your glass, and you're going to trace the circle. To give you a rough guesstimation of how much, excuse me, how big your circle is going to be. Honestly and truly, I've already um, pre-did 
this DIY already and I'm going to show you one I've already completed. Just cutting out the circle real quick so you all can see what I did. Drop that right there. But I did this probably like two months ago. This is the top part, top part. Lord, I'm just getting all my words mixed up this morning. <laughs> Lord, this is the top part of the latte right there. And this is around the bottom. This one right here is like a caramel latte. Or um, they got different ones too, all different flavors. But I'm going to say caramel because I love caramel lattes. So this is a caramel latte. And I gave it that caramel drizzle look to it. Um type latte and I love these mugs this mug in particular was purchased from um Dollar Tree um I did not hot glue this in and the reason for not hot gluing this in is because I may want to change this a lot of you know that I don't always hot glue everything that I do because I like to change stuff up I may want to switch this out and put a whole new design in it and by not hot gluing it that gives me that option so we're going to make another latte, but just not the caramel. We're going to do a mocha today. So I just traced my glass and we're getting ready to cut it out. When you first cut out your cardboard and your circle, it's going to be too big. Um, when you trace the cup out, that's just a rough guesstimation of how big you're going to need. So pretty much you're going to take a little bit at a time off until it fits the glass. So, let you all see. Y'all see that's not fit and it's too big. So we're gonna keep taking away. I pray that everyone had a great Christmas. I did, I was blessed, my children was blessed. God really blessed them with a lot of things. Um, it was just a blessing just to be here because so much has gone on throughout this year and just being able to see a Christmas is a blessing so we still got to trim some more off and you can kind of see like where where you need to trim i think i need to trim more on this side but yes my kids got so much things i even got quite much this year i normally don't get a whole lot of gifts like that because in my family we try to like um put a lot of thing emphasis on like buying the kids stuff because Christmas to me is more like for the children we almost got it so the adults always get a few gifts but not a tremendous amount of gifts but the Lord really blessed me this year um I got a little bit extra than usual and I'm grateful unto God for that I am I'm gonna share some of my little items with you all because everybody know I love to craft I love making things that's dear and true to my heart. My husband got me a new glue gun. I have a lot of glue guns. Glue guns typically don't last that long. So I generally get one like, like every year. I'm going to say every one to two years I get a new glue gun. He bought me a glue gun that it still works and I love it. It's a cordless one. He bought me that one year before last. And he bought me another one. I love that one. Um, I also got these here, which were a gift to myself. I need some jazzy. They right cute. Some cute paintbrushes. I wanted something special for myself. And plus, I needed some more paintbrushes. But each one is in a different color. And it has purple. And I love the glitter because I'm so girly. And I love glam stuff too at the same time. But I bought these for myself. These are a gift to me. Yes, I wanted to get me some special little paint brushes, and those are some of the ones are the new paint brushes I'm gonna be using. Um, I think my husband he even got me, yeah, he did. He got me a um paint painter's easel, but you can only use watercolors on that. Um, and some more paint brushes that um he got for me too. I just love craft stuff, but I'm gonna show you next what we all are going to create. So this is going to be the topping to the latte. This is what's going to go inside of the cup. That's what it looks like. Let me see if I got it just right. Almost. I'm going to trim a little bit off the top. A little bit off. A little bit off. 
little bit more on this side that's pretty much what I did for the other one I just kept trimming to okay now it's this corner right here so I'm going to there we go 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 All right, fit like that. I'm just gonna pop it out. I don't want to stay stuck in there. But for future references, you could just take whatever one you already did and remeasure it. I didn't do that because this is still drying. <laughs> I was scared that it may um, smear the top part. It's still a little slightly wet, just a little bit. It's not severely wet, but it still got that little dampness to it. So. Now we are going to move on to the paint to get that nice smooth latte effect on the inside. Um, we're going to start off with three colors. And this is for the glass itself. We're going to start off with three colors. Those colors are going to be chestnut brown, snow white, and mixed chocolate. Those are the colors that we're going to blend to make our latte look in our cup. Now, what I use first as my base coat for the latte topping, I did a little bit, I'm going to use the angle brush. I did a little bit of the chestnut as my base. I really didn't need that much, but we're going to work it out. Rub that in. Uh, did anyone um had like a very cold Christmas? I know we did. It was very unusual. Um, a lot of you know I live in North Carolina and we do not have severe cold weather. The lowest we normally get is in like the 40s. Sometimes 40s. Every now and then, 30s, but we were in like the negatives, like the last, mostly last week. And it was like crazy cold, like a whole nother type of cold, a type of cold that North Carolina is not even like equipped for or prepared for. So we had situations that was taking place where they were randomly cutting power out. Yeah. We're in the coldest time of the year and they're like randomly cutting out power so that's what they were doing they will randomly cut out power in certain neighborhoods in certain areas in certain parts of North Carolina they're just cutting out power and the reason was to save the grid they said that because of the high because of the high demand of power and also because of the severely cold temperatures um, they had to temporarily cut off lights to some areas to save the grid. I felt like that was a bit ridiculous, being that it was so cold. But it also taught me a valuable lesson in the cold when, to learn how to preserve because of that. I didn't realize that the grid can be affected by power grid so i can be more specific the power grid can be affected by severely cold weather had no idea that's something that i learned recently when we went through this code so we're gonna add some of the melted chocolate around we're just gonna gently add it in to give it like a real nice coffee effect latte coffee look of it yep i'm gonna do that add it in okay there we go add a little bit to the corner just like that but let me know if anybody went through has ever been through that or went through it recently themselves due to cold weather 
Because I had no idea that they could do stuff like that. Not when it's cold. I'm just going to be honest. I didn't think that that could be done like that. But that's what it's looking like. You got a mixture, two tones, your melted chocolate, and your chestnut. That's what it's looking like. Okay. So pretty much, I'm going to rinse this out real quick. Brush. Set it over there. Now we're going to outline. You will let that dry. And then we'll outline the heart and all that good stuff. Whatever pattern you want to do. You don't have to do a heart if you don't want to. Um, if you want to, you could just freehand and do your own thing. Let me see if I could do... Let's see. That's all I'm doing. I'm just freehanding. I'm just doing some small hearts. This is the last. That's all I'm doing. Um, then I'm gonna do a few dots to kind of connect the heart. I'm gonna do another dot to bring it all the way down. If you Google lattes, you will see all. It's amazing how many different designs they can do. I've seen some very, very pretty designs um, with the lattes. It's real pretty. And this is just a time where you'll just take your time and just design whatever you want to design. And however you want it to look. This is just a quick, I go back in and fill it in. Stay tuned to the... Um, Community tab, I'm going to place um, some pictures of this once I get a chance to like go in and do it over real quick. But this is just quick and simple, just like filling it in. Yeah, and I'm doing hearts because this particular latte i'm gonna leave up even for um valentine's day i thought that would be real cute to do okay and then i'm just gonna add a little bit to the bottom of the um gonna swirl it soon Swirl up. So I'll be just going to go in. This could be like the froth. The milk. That they put in. And then we're gonna um Kind of like all right. And that's like a quick overview of that. I did that real, real quick. And I'm gonna add some more special fits to it so it can kind of like come more together. Yep. Yeah.
You just really take some time to just go in and add the effects that you need to kind of like, you know, give the swirls and the it do kind of gives you some time. So, all right, I think that um. All right, that looks really good. We are um add some more special effects to that. I just want to give you all an overview, but this is my heart that I did, my heart latte, and we're gonna go ahead on and fill that in. I like to give y'all step by step tutorial because some people like videos where they can like see each and every step, like they can kind of see everything that's taking place everybody don't want something that's fast and like ran through real quick because some stuff you just need to see so we're going to combine these two colors right here you see you're combining them but you're not combining them to a point where it's kind of like two two combined and we're going to go in and we're going to start from the bottom and you're going to do one straight line up do you see that one straight line up like that one straight line up then we're going to come over and we're going to do the same thing same thing we're going to blend it we're going to try to stay as close to the glass as possible And you're going to keep doing the same. Um, thing over and over. You're going to blend up, 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 up. I hope everybody can see that wheel. Keep blending up. It can take a couple of okay. All right. Lean up, 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 up. You see it? How the, the look is starting to go in and like blend. I'm going to pause it for a second and go through and do each part because this right here is probably going to take a while because I got to let the different coats dry. All right, this is what the cup will look like. Let it dry for an hour or so, I'm going to say two hours. And um, that's what, this one right here is a mocha latte. Exactly what it'll look like on the inside. And you'll let it dry and then you can pop your mocha cup in. I'm just gonna slide it in right here so y'all can see it. Ain't gonna pop it all the way in. But that's what it'll look like. And make sure you put like a protecting coat of um mod podge on top you can um do a light coat once your paint dry you can also do a light coat of mod podge um on the inside of your glass if you like i wouldn't because once you pop the actual um topper in you won't even need um to do that because i mean i don't think you'll be scratching the inside of the glass but um stay tuned for some community tab pictures of the final products of the um of the um the cappuccinos well, not cappuccinos lattes i mean to say i know some people call it cappuccinos but um stay tuned for that i'm gonna pop this one in a little bit stay tuned for that thank you all for um watching another episode of Uniquely Tay. 
always remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you will always know when I upload my latest video. Thank you all. I love you all so much. And always remember to create, explore, and enjoy. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Okay.